Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today for another video. So those of you who watch this channel regularly will know that I absolutely love Werneth Low. It's an area of high ground just outside Hyde in Cheshire and it's great for playing radio. And those of you who watch this channel a little bit more closely will know that I absolutely love the Ofcom DF array that's up here. So basically this is an antenna array made by Roden Schwartz and it is owned by Ofcom. And what it does, it's used for monitoring the spectrum remotely and it feeds back information to the main Ofcom monitoring station down in Baldock. So an installation like this has been around at Werner Flow since around the end of 2005 or early 2006. It was originally installed on the back of a trailer as a temporary mount and on the 7th of March 2006, crews came in and made it permanent by installing a data room, a mast, and a new directional array made by Roden Schwartz on the top and I have got a video on the channel around this so the link is in the description and will be at the end of this video as well. Now I was up here today doing some drone work for another video and I happened to send the drone over the site of the DF array and realised it was gone. So I went back and forward a few times just to make sure I had my bearings right but I knew I was in the right location and the mast has gone. The cabinet is still there but it does look like it's been repurposed and not for the use of radio. So yeah, it's gone. And this made me wonder, um, well it's, it's such a shame that it's gone, but it made me wonder is the way that Ofcom are operating changing? Is it worth monitoring the radio spectrum closely enough anymore? Or are they thinning back these sites and just monitoring from certain areas? Who knows, it could be the fact that Ofcom are turning their attentions more to cyber attacks and things like that. I don't know, if you know, give me a comment in the box below and let me know, but it's definitely gone guys, so it's clear to see that Ofcom are definitely changing the way they work and it wouldn't surprise me if the monitoring of the radio spectrum is drastically changing and being reduced. Cuts like this would allow Ofcom to manage the time more effectively and focus on what really matters to them and possibly what is worthwhile and beneficial them actually doing. We already know as amateur radio operators that the amateur radio bands aren't monitored at all and there is no consequence to anything that happens on there. That's that's clear for everyone to see. So it could be the fact that Ofcom are just taking a shift away from radio. Who knows? But yeah, it's definitely gone guys and it looks like it's not returning. So I just thought I'd show you this here today. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, drop them in the box below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.